Hello there and welcome to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial from Techtopia. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to convert an image to make it look like it was uh, hand drawn. Now I posted a tutorial similar to this but um, the difference here is that this is a different technique and it will get you a different style of uh, drawing or painting or something. Uh, the last tutorial was more of a painting. This one's going to be kind of like a sketch with a pencil or something effect. So I'm just going to open up a picture I have of one of my favorite soccer players here. Okay, now what we're going to do is duplicate this layer. So all you got to do is drag this layer into this uh, little icon over here. And there we go, it's now duplicated. Now we can go up here to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. And this will make this uh, layer black and white. Now what we're going to do is duplicate this layer again. And uh, again, just drag it into that little icon there. Or if you want to just uh, use a keyboard shortcut, hitting control and J on your keyboard will instantly duplicate it so you can try that as well it's the same thing so now we got our colored layer and then two copies of a desaturated layer now make sure you're on your top layer here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh... we're just gonna hit control and I on our keyboard and what this does is it inverts the color so it uh, gives it kind of an x-ray look or something so again after we have duplicated our um, layer we're just going to hit control I and it will invert it and that is on the top layer background copy 2 okay so now we got this kind of effect now what we're going to do is go over here to our blending modes it's at normal by default we're going to change this to color dodge now what you're going to get is basically just a plain white image there's a little black spots and you might think this is a glitch or something but it's totally uh, as planned this is what we're looking for now what we're going to do is go to filter blur and uh, pick a blur. I'm going to do motion blur. And there you go. It kind of looks like it was uh, hand drawn by somebody. And you can uh, change the radius of the blur to whatever you want to get whatever kind of effect you're, you want. If you're unsatisfied with the overall result, you can cancel it and go to filter, blur, and try out a different blur. Uh, let's try surface blur. And there you go. It, it could get you a different kind of effect if you're looking for. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Just. Uh, mess around with it and find something you like I'll be satisfied with this effect you're gonna hit OK and now there you go there's the final effect it kinda looks like someone drew it and there you go if you want this uh, second layer here there's the background then the background co copy then the second background copy if we want we can turn off the first background copy by going to this little eyeball here and clicking that eyeball and now uh, it will bring the colors back and but still preserve the little sketchiness effect so uh, you can turn the color on and off by uh, hitting the eyeball over there and that's on the first background copy so uh, you could do whatever kind of effect you're looking for but that was just another easy tutorial hope you enjoyed it uh, you comment on this video rate it subscribe have fun um, anyway see you guys later take care